Welcome everybody, Steve here. We're working on the uh, 72 Ford short box and on the box, brother's done a lot of work to this thing, welding, put a different uh, floor in it and we're replacing these uh, filler panels. There's four of them, two at the back, two at the front and you know, you have a choice. You could buy them or you could make them. It doesn't take very much uh, effort whatsoever. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. It's gonna save you some money. This is actually one of the panels for the Bronco, but it's very similar. It goes back over here. And because it, on the top of your uh, box, you're at the high point, to bring it down to the bottom of the box, you gotta put a bit of an angle in there. So we'll do that. We're just gonna copy what this uh, Ford Bronco is. I think it's gonna be close enough. You won't even know. So I'm gonna get this cut out and then we'll head over to the, uh, uh, to the uh, brake and see if we can bend one of these up. Some of the measurements are it's not quite perfectly square. I'm gonna go with a three-quarter inch lip all the way around, so I'm just measuring out for that. This one here is five eighths, ten and a half. I'm using a pencil just so that I can be a little bit more accurate. Time to band her up. That looks pretty good. Now we got the uh, thickness of the metal to compensate here for. So we got to, let me take a, grab a tape measure. Yeah, so this is the front. Yeah, so if we bent that in exactly the same spot, we're going to be a little bit out. So we'll have to just take this one back a bit. I don't usually bend things that are this stiff, but it's working. Should be able to bend that through. Okay, now I have to narrow things down here so I can bend these.
There we go. This one here, I think we're going to have to just trim this back a little bit more so that I can tighten that bend up so I get the right measurement. easy when you got a nice break. Now we got to figure out how to give this a bit of a bend right here. So we got to bend this on an angle down. Just lucky this goes high enough I can easily get this underneath. So I cut the little notch there. Not really too sure exactly how much of an angle I need. But we'll just give her a little shot and always uh, fine tune it later. There's our panel. Let's go get a test truck. On to panel number two. First one worked out really good. So, if you succeeded for it once, you can do it again. straight now when I bend this. So that's why I didn't didn't want to go quite 90 this time. You learn from your mistakes. But if you do that, that's not a big deal. Because then you just you know, all you do is just tap it with a hammer. Straighten it up. That's why they make hammers. the rear and then we can put that little bend in and that's another one done. doing the front filler pieces and uh, I don't have differing, differing measurements width wise. It was an eighth of an inch difference on the uh, on the back side but on the front everything's pretty nice so my life just got easier. 
We don't have a, a 90 on the end. So it shouldn't take too long to wheel these off. Okay, let's cut this out. thickness of the metal here. Having these, uh, when everything's nice and square and symmetrical, it sure makes life a lot easier. Confirm that. I do the full head on her. One done. Two done. Let's hope they fit. This is what the uh, front panel looks like in the front of the box. The other one's over there. It's gonna be out of focus. But, you see our gaps are nice and all the way around that you get seam sealed. So we don't have to worry too much about, uh, you know, if there's a small gap. It's gonna look good. This is what the rear one looks like. And you can see where we uh, put that little bit of an angle in there. That's so that everything fits nice there. Really, really happy with them. As you can see, we kind of plug welded them. Um, just We just ground a groove in there and then welded it instead of drilling a hole. But that works just fine. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> 